Donald Trump's return to the White House could bring significant changes to U.S. military and foreign policy, especially regarding the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Throughout his campaign, Trump repeatedly questioned the scale of American support for Ukraine, suggesting that he would reconsider or even reduce aid. His previous administration had a complicated relationship with Russia and NATO, raising concerns among allies about the future of U.S. commitments. Trump's re-election signals a potential shift towards a more isolationist approach, prioritizing U.S. interests over international military engagements. Since Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, the United States has become Ukraine's primary military supporter, committing over $54 billion in security assistance. This includes advanced systems like Patriot missile batteries, HIMARS rocket artillery, and Abrams tanks, which have been vital in helping Ukraine defend itself against Russian forces. Despite broad bipartisan support for Ukraine in Congress, Trump's return to office suggests that this strategy might be reassessed. He has proposed converting some aid into loans and possibly reducing overall support, a move that has generated both support and concern from NATO allies and U.S. political circles. Trump has promised to bring an end to the Ukraine-Russia conflict quickly, claiming he could negotiate a peace settlement within 24 hours of taking office. However, the specifics of this plan remain unclear. His approach could involve high-stakes negotiations with both Moscow and Kiev, possibly using reductions in U.S. military assistance as leverage to push both sides toward an agreement. While some of Trump's supporters back a reduction in aid, critics warn that this strategy could embolden Russian ambitions and destabilize the region, especially if it undermines Ukraine's territorial integrity. Trump's re-election comes amid a broader shift in U.S. defense priorities, with a fiscal year 2024 defense budget set to reach a record $842 billion. This budget reflects a focus on countering China's growing influence in the Indo-Pacific, including investments in nuclear upgrades, advanced cyber capabilities, and a stronger U.S. military presence in Asia. Under Trump, this trend may accelerate, potentially reducing the U.S. military footprint in Europe and shifting attention to domestic and Indo-Pacific security. NATO allies, who are already preparing for possible cuts in U.S. support for Ukraine, are exploring ways to ensure continued assistance independent of American contributions. Trump's re-election could strain relations with NATO and European allies, who have increasingly relied on U.S. support for Ukraine. During his previous term, Trump pressured NATO members to increase their defense contributions, and he is expected to renew those demands. NATO has already begun playing a more prominent role in coordinating military aid to Ukraine, seen as a way to ensure consistent support even if U.S. contributions are reduced. European countries like Germany and France have expressed their commitment to maintaining aid for Ukraine, regardless of the level of U.S. involvement. However, this may create tensions within the alliance, as the U.S. defense strategy undergoes potential changes under Trump's leadership. As Trump prepares to return to the global stage, Ukraine's allies are assessing how these changes may affect their support for Kiev's defense against Russian aggression. European governments are ready to fill any gaps in military aid, and NATO is adjusting its strategy to ensure Ukraine's defense remains supported. Meanwhile, Ukrainian leaders are bracing for significant shifts in their relationship with Washington, knowing that the months ahead could bring both challenges and new opportunities to secure peace. In conclusion, Trump's return to office signals potential shifts in U.S. military and foreign policy, with important implications for Ukraine's ongoing fight against Russian aggression. As NATO and European allies prepare for these changes, the future of U.S. support for Ukraine remains uncertain, with far-reaching consequences for global security.